welcome to the channel. Before I get started with today's topic, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. My last video is doing amazing and I appreciate all the support. So today's topic will actually be the autofocus on the X-T4. Um, I received a lot of comments regarding the autofocus on this camera and some of the other videos that I've seen, when you just go to the comment section, it's all about the autofocus of this camera. Is it good or is it bad enough that you shouldn't even consider this camera? So we're gonna take a look at that today. Also my mic broke, so we're gonna test out the, uh, the internal mic on this uh, camera. I hope it's good. I really didn't want to wait for a new mic to put out this video. I wanted to create. I feel good. I'm in a good creative flow right now. So I don't really want to stop that. So I am going to go ahead and shoot today. And later on in this video, there's a nice surprise for you guys. So let's start with the test. Just so you guys know, I will be testing out a Fuji lens today, 16 to 50, as well as Canon EF mount lenses with the Fringer Pro 2 adapter thingy. It's, um, I'm actually pretty impressed with this adapter. But first, let's start with the Fuji lens. Autofocus is something special for me because I shot with a Nikon for the longest time. Nikon and autofocus is not really a thing. So um, with Fuji, I am just super pleased with the autofocus on this camera. To me, as long as I can take the camera and vlog right now, you see I'm doing autofocus, I can see it's just not hunting or anything like that. For my B-rolls and stuff, I like using manual focus anyways because I'm just so used to doing it myself. It makes that emotional connection better with the audience, I feel like. So I do use manual for most of my B-rolls, except for this one, I'm gonna use autofocus just to kind of test out and give my honest opinion after. But the B-roll will come after. Let's begin with the 16 to 50 Fuji lens first. I have I have the eye tracker on as well, so. People are just looking at me like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Let's see how it is when I walk back. picks up quick like the actual tracker catches my face super quick like it this is not a super fast lens I'm at 3.5 aperture right now so with a faster lens I think it could be better but as, as you know I as soon as I get into the frame it does make the square around my face and my eye it's just but the actual lens but actual focus takes a little longer with this camera there is uh, different settings in the focus sensitivity this is new to me now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Canon EF mount. So let's see how that goes. Okay guys, so all the autofocus stuff aside right now, I am on my way to Toronto. I do have a little surprise for you guys, like I said in the beginning of the video. I am gonna shoot a little special B-roll there, and everything will be on autofocus today. So, let's begin the B-roll. I, I Helicopter was insane. It was so fun. Um, it was my first time in a helicopter and god it was so much fun. I'm sorry about the sound but I do really want to test out the mic, the internal mic of this camera. I'm gonna close this video up and we're gonna kind of do a last autofocus test. I just felt like we did all the tests in good lighting today so I wanted to close it up in a darker scene 
just to kind of test out the autofocus further. Now, I have enough lighting back there, but right now I'm just kind of speaking into the darkness of my trunk. Um, so let's do a few more quick tests. Should be good on this side, it's just when I get close to it, it does track. Honestly guys, to me, there's nothing to complain about the autofocus. Now, the thing is, you guys have enough flexibility with the autofocus settings. Like, if you have different lenses, you may need to kind of tweak your settings for each lens. To me, i rather have 10-bit rather than phenomenal autofocus like Canon. Canon just released the R5, which has 10-bit, but this Fujifilm, like, you're paying half the price. You're paying half the price for 10-bit. Yes, it's cropped. And autofocus, is it great? Is it good as Canon? No. Is it good as Sony? I don't think so. I haven't tested a lot of Sony's, but I know Canon autofocus is amazing. So there is just no perfect camera. You guys need to kind of find out your, your own grounds as to what you need as a camera. To me, this is the perfect camera. All right, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.